Okay, so in the previous video, we created a little drop-down menu questions, and this can be used for any subject. In today's video, we're going to be seeing how to make these guys turn green if their answers are correct, and how to make them turn red if their answers are incorrect. That way our students get immediate feedback, and quickly we can look at their screens and see how they're doing. So here, what we're going to use is conditional formatting. So again, we're going to be referencing sheet two. I don't like to hide the answers in the same sheet because some students are more curious than others and they might find them. So we're going to go to sheet two. And what I'm going to do is I want each of these to give me a one if the answer that they input matches the answer key that I have here on sheet two. So what I'm going to do here is my formula again starts with an equal sign. And the formula is if, open parentheses, now if this is equal to the answer in the answer key, then this is going to give me a 1. Otherwise, it's going to give me a 0. So now you just do enter and that will end that for you. We're going to do it again. So uh, equal sign if the second answer is equal to the second answer in the answer sheet, then what do I want? I want it to give me a one. If not, I want it to give me a zero. So we're gonna keep doing that. So now you can see that they gave me all ones because all the answers on sheet one match all the answers in the answer key. So this is our answer key here on our sheet two. Okay, so now I'm just going to make it so that these also transfer over to the other sheet so that we can reference the sheet within itself for the conditional for formatting. For conditional formatting, we cannot reference a separate sheet. So that is why I want all of these ones to be here if there was a one in the other sheet. So this one's already pre-made. All I did was, I'm going to delete it so that you can see, but equals, and what do I want it to equal? Well, the same value from sheet two. So I'm just going to click sheet two and then click that cell. And if there's a one there, now I have a, a one here in this cell. So now this is also referencing sheet two and so on because these are all true. So notice that if I now put anything else here, if I put A, it gave me a zero. Where's the zero coming from? It's coming from here, okay? So now let's get into the conditional formatting. The conditional formatting is what formats each of the cells, what makes them turn green or what makes them turn red or whatever colors you choose. So let's get into that. We're going to select this cell and we're going to go to format and conditional formatting and it's already selected for us. We're going to go to custom formula is and equals. Now I want to select a different cell. I want to reference a different cell. We're going to do that with money signs. So it's going to be money symbol. And then this is cell J9. So J and then money symbol 9 equals 1. If this J9 is equal to 1, then I want the cell to turn green. So now I'm going to put done. Now, instead of adding another rule, it's easiest to just click on that formatting that we already did. And then we're going to just click add another rule. That way it's already formatting the same cells that we just formatted. Except now I want it to say if this is equal to zero, this cell on the right, then I want that cell to turn red. So now this is going to turn red if the answer is wrong. Say they put answer A. Well, now this is zero, which made this turn red. But what if there is no answer? So this is optional. You can make them all just be red. But I like to do an additional step. So again, I clicked within the formatting that already existed and then click add another rule. And now I want not J9, I want this cell to be white. If there's nothing there, I just want it to be white. So I'm going to say if that cell, which is I9, is empty, how do we say empty? We put double quotation marks with no space between them. If that cell is empty, then I want it to just be white. We'll leave it alone. So the order matters, so we're just gonna drag that all the way to the top. So now the answer is currently wrong, so it is red. There's nothing there though. You can see it is now white. So 
So order matters. If I leave it where it was, you can see that it is red. I want it to be white, so let's leave that alone. So it's saying if there's nothing there, it's going to be white. If it's right, it's going to be green. And if it is incorrect, then it's going to be red. So you're going to do that for the next couple of cells, and that is how you show your students whether they're getting their answers correct or if they're getting them incorrect so they can try those questions again.